Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for a graph paper jam. So let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So first things first, if you want to make a Google Jam, you can get them from the waffle board. I have moved this up. Yours will probably be down below. I enjoy the jam, so I've got it there. This jam that I'm giving you, the graph paper jam, if you look in the description of this video, you will be able to click on it and you'll be able to bring up this as a template. Just remember that you're always going to have to click the file and make a copy so that you can play with the one I give you. The concept is super simple with this jam. Right now there is one page, it is called Graph Paper Jam, and I mentioned duplicate this so you don't lose your template. So let me show you how to duplicate it. If we click this down arrow, we can click on these dots, and boom, you've got a duplicate. So I'm gonna go to this one right here, and to create your Graph Paper Jam. So the first step is to set up your x-axis. I have got mine as individual pieces. I did two, four, six, and eight. You can type whatever numbers you want here. If you want another one, you can do control C and control V, and then you can move it out to the line where you want it. When you choose to edit these, you do need to double click backspace and type your number. Uh, you don't wanna press enter or you have that extra line, but that's how you build your X axis. I did the same thing for the Y axis. Whatever problem you're trying to solve, you build your own graph paper. Now, if you saw an earlier video of mine, I tried to draw points. I have switched and I am giving you a point. To place a point, you simply grab it and put it where you want. So right here, I'd be marking a point that is two comma 10, because remember you always say X before Y. To place your next point, you can do control C and control V. When you click somewhere else and then grab it, it's real easy to place it. Let's put one at five comma 60. So that way you're learning how to work with the points and how to graph your lines. When I'm done with my jam today, I will give you a few more colors that you can work with up here in the corner. These are just simply dots that I created in Pixlr so that they were the right size for our graph paper. When you're working with this, it is a good idea to zoom in and notice I can use the scroll wheels or the little scroll bars so it's easier to grab and place them where you want. I'm gonna zoom back out by hitting zoom and I like 50%, that's pretty large. You can see that you could also build your negative side of both of these axes. When it's time to finally draw a line, pick your pen, I like this one, pick your color of your line, and then this is the trick. Hold down shift and click on the first point and then it draws a straight line through your second point. Now when we zoom in, I'm gonna choose 100%, so I don't like how I did my line because I was zoomed out, so I'm gonna undo to get rid of it. I'm gonna go back to that line tool, and now I'm gonna hold down Shift, make sure that I'm on my point the way I want, and then I can draw a line that cuts right through the other line, and now we've also got our Y-intercept. How slick is that? Friends, real quickly, let's run through the tools we have available. We have got all the different styles of pens, and we've got the colors of pens. We can erase if there's ever a piece that you don't want. This is how you'd clean it up. You can select and move. We've already practiced that. You can add pictures. We'll do that in a second. You can draw shapes. And then you can add text boxes. So watch this. If I type in this problem, this is an example of hours fishing and fish to take home. So this would be a workable math problem. And then if you wanted to make this look more cool, we could go back to the images, do a Google image search, and add something fun on the screen by searching for fish, finding one that you think is nifty. I want one right there. And then insert it. So all of a sudden it makes your project look a little bit more cool. You can stretch, adjust, and make something awesome. And another super fun tool is the notes where you can say something like nice catch. This is super handy if you're working together with a partner. Don't forget you can change your colors. I'm gonna close that and you can shrink them and put them wherever you want. Now remember, my duplicate is out here, so I've always got it. So now I can delete this and you could give this a different name for turning in. Speaking of turning in, you can save the frame. You could download the entire project as a PDF and then in some classrooms, mine is one of these, I may ask you to share a link. If you do share a link, make sure that you change the link 
to anyone can view. That way it's easier for people to open, copy the link, and you can turn it in. Note they're only going to be able to view it. They're not going to be able to comment, but you'll be able to turn it in. They can click it and give you your assessment. You could also use that as editable and share it with a teammate so you could work together. So my friends, I hope you found this really useful. Don't forget there will be a link in the description so you can click on it. Once you do that, you just need to do file and make a copy. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.